I'm Bo Timken, Master Sake Sommelier, but more importantly, I'm a retailer of sake. I opened the first dedicated sake store roughly six years ago, selling nothing but sake. And when people would come to the, my store, I had to develop a system that would allow people to speak to their likes and dislikes in sake when they said they don't know what they're talking about. So I asked people, what about wine, what about beer? What are your preferences? What are your profiles for wine and beer? And over time, I developed a system called Taste Match. And Taste Match is literally taking somebody who likes a big Zinfandel, a big Cabernet, and a Guinness beer, and assuming that they won't like the same sake as somebody who likes uh, Sauvignon Blanc and uh, Kirin or a Corona, lighter flavors. So when people come to the store and they say, well, I like this and I like that in a beer and in a wine, we generally can kind of categorize them by what styles of sake they would like. Now, in terms of Daiginjo, you can read in my book, in, in Taste Match, um, it's people who like more ethereal qualities in their wine. Not so much full body, but more complexity. Now, the great thing about Daiginjo Sake is you're paying more for less. You're paying more uh, for real subtleties, real nuances. And now these are veins of flavor that you have to kind of go spelunking for. Now, it is complexity personified. Brewers, this is the high, Daiginjo is the highest end of achievement for brewers. So it's people who like very complex wines. They like a story, generally would like a Daiginjo. Now, that said, sometimes people, their litmus test is they've only had piping hot, really crappy sake. That's what they're used to, that's what they remember, kind of the rubbing alcohol fire water. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll throw people a Daiginjo, which is the antithesis of this fire water. Daiginjo is extremely light, hints of fruit, super clean. And so it's kind of a welcoming sake. Daiginjo is an easy sell because it's, again, the pinnacle of taking rice and water and making it taste like so many subtle elements, anything but booze. It's almost the opposite of alcohol flavor, which is ironic as a lot of sakes are about 15 to 17% alcohol.